Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Fabric video. This is Abiola David. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the cool stuff in Fabric Notebook, which is writing a piece of code to programmatically access the items in a specific workspace in Fabric. So let's get started. Now, before we go into the coding part, now we need to actually know what are items. Now, items are things like lake houses, warehouses, notebook, report, dashboard, experiment, KKL, query set, semantic model, SQL analytics, endpoint, data pipelines, and data flow gen 2. So let's see how we can easily access all these items in a specific workspace called the shortcut. So these are all the items, okay? So we can see all the types. We have the lake house, semantic model, SQL, analytic endpoint, warehouse, and so on and so forth. And of course, I've got a notebook at the bottom here. I'm gonna click on it. And then we need to go ahead and import the two libraries. The first one is the senpai.fabric and then pandas as pd. So import senpai.fabric as fabric. And then we want to import pandas as pd. And then we can go on and execute and just run this code. And let's so you can see command executed nicely. So I'm going to add a new cell code. Now, the next one to do is to get the ID of the shortcut workspace. We want to access all the contents. So I'm going to use the fabric.list underscore workspaces function. And of course, I'm going to use the query method. So before that, I'm going to actually use a label called shortcut ID and equal. So I can go on and call the fabric.list underscore workspaces function. So then I'm going to use the period and call the query period and then open and close the brackets. Now, I'm going to pass the name of the specific workspace, which is in this case, shortcut. So inside single quotes, I'm going to call name equals equals and inside double quotes, double quotes. And I'm going to actually type in shortcuts in it. So the name of March, okay? So I'm going to come here and I'm going to use period. I'm going to access the ID dot I log. And then I want to access the zero the index zero and i can click enter so the next is to get the list of items in the shortcut workspace specifically again i can define a variable let's call this one list underscore items okay equal so i'm going to use the fabric dot list function again and then i'm going to point to the items so we want to see all the items and open and close the brackets and then again this require one parameter so it's going to be workspace and this must equal to whatever this is delivering so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste here okay and that's all we need to do i can go on and display the data frame so i can just type in list underscore items and control enter to run the code so you can see these are all the items in the shortcut workspace you can see the id the display name, the description, the type, and then the workspace ID. So again, this is the code on how to achieve that. Just go ahead and define a variable, and then you can use the fabric.list underscore workspaces function, and then you'll call the query method. And in the query method, you're gonna use name equals equals to the specific workspace you're gonna get, and then period ID, dot i lot and they specify zero and they're going to use the fabric dot list on items function again and they're going to pass in this workspace is equal to whatever this is delivering and then just go ahead and display the data frame so i trust you enjoy this video if you do like comment and share with your friends thank you and bye for now cheers